The Notre Dame women's lacrosse team was outside hosting their first game here at Arlotta Stadium on Wednesday night as they took on former Notre Dame player and assistant coach Meredith Black and her Marquette Golden Eagles. The Irish rattled off three goals to open the game. Kira McMullen, Caitlin Gargan, and Courtney Fortunato all got on the board before Marquette was able to sneak one past Liz O'Sullivan to cut the Irish lead to 3-1. I think it just builds confidence in what we're doing. So um, getting on the board quickly and with all the ball movement that we saw obviously um, gets us excited to continue to do that. It just builds the adrenaline that we want to have and it um, again just confirms and reaffirms basically um, the style that we want to play which is fast aggressive and obviously our celebrations are pretty fun to see so um, it gets us wanting to continue to do the same thing so it's important. Meanwhile, Notre Dame worked hard on defense to cause 18 Golden Eagle turnovers. Michelle Phillips and Gargan would add two more goals to give the Irish a 5-1 lead going into the locker room at the half. Fortunato and McMullen would add their second goals of the game just 10 seconds apart to start the second half. Later on, Stephanie Toy and Heidi Anaheim would each add goals of their own about 20 seconds apart as the Irish lead stretched to 10. Nine scoring threats, I think we've been averaging about nine every time out. Um, the points are coming off the bench, the points are coming from those that are starting, but more exciting today was the helper points that we saw. Shoot, if we could take hockey assists, we'd have a number of points, but six of our 12 were helpers, four were off the line to give us 50% from shooting and we um, from the eight meter shooting, and that was a big focus for us today. So we're thrilled with that, and it's never too late to keep um, improving. And with this team, we're gonna continue to do that down the stretch. Freshman goalkeeper Liz O'Sullivan was stout in net for her first career start. She made 11 saves as the Irish get the 12-5 to win. Unfortunately, Allie sustained an injury that kept her from playing today, but you know Liz has seen some important minutes, but what an outing. 60 minutes, and she comes up with 11 saves and only gives up five. But credit, and she'll tell you, credit to that defense in front of you, really limiting the high percentage of looks. So we're thrilled because that shows a lot of improvement for us. The Irish will be back in action on Sunday afternoon as they head to Villanova to take on the Wildcats at noon. For Fighting Irish Digital Media, I'm Megan Bastido. Go Irish!